Hello and welcome back. In this video, I will be showing how to do complex JSON parsing in Flutter or Dart. I am doing this video as I got a request from one of my subscribers of this channel. You can also suggest topics in the comment section below and I will try my best to create a video as soon as possible. Since this video is all about JSON parsing, we don't need any UI. So I will not be showing the simulator. Instead, I want you to focus on the IDE and the terminal below where the output is printed. Here I have a sample JSON file in my resources which is called person.json which has these many contents, ID, name and the age. I have added this file to the assets in the pubspec.yaml file so that the app can access it. Now I am going to create a new file which is called models.dart and I am going to create a class which is named person and we will declare those member variables the id name and the age and we will write a constructor that takes all these parameters that will be this dot id this dot name and this dot age now we are going to write another method that actually parses a json object and create a person object so I'm going to call it person dot from JSON, which takes a string and a dynamic parameter since we have one integer and two strings. So that will return a person object, which will take the values from that JSON. So first one is the ID, second one is the name, and third one is the age. All right. Let's go back to the main class and import the necessary packages. So we will need the convert package, the async package and the services package and also the models package. Now let's write our first function. We will load the JSON data into a string first. So I'm going to write a function load person from assets which is an asynchronous function. So we are using await and call a root bundle dot load string with the path of the JSON file. So that will return the string, which is a JSON. Now we are going to parse the JSON. So I'm going to call the method load person. So string JSON string equal to get the JSON string by calling our method and final JSON response equal to decode that string. All right. Now person, the person variable equal to new person. And we are going to call that method from JSON and pass our JSON object. So once we have the person, we will try to print the value. Let's print the name. So that will be person dot name. So I will be running the app. Before that, we need to call the method. So override the instead method and call the method. So you can see in the console that the name is printed, right? So let's add some more data to the JSON file. So I will be adding another list of strings which has key places. So that has two strings. India and US. So let's add one more member variable to the person class. So that will be a list of places and add that list to the constructor and from JSON as well. So let's get it from the JSON object which has the key places. All right. Now let's try to print the value of the places. So that will be print. I'm going to say in places and instead of person dot name, we will call person dot places. So run the app, you will see that array. So we have two places now. So by default, it's list of dynamic, but we know that it is a string, right? So if it is, if you are sure, then you can do like this. So if you run that, you will get that error. List dynamic is not a subtype of type list string. 
so we have to explicitly parse it for that i'm going to write a new method parse places which will return a list of strings and that takes a json object and we'll call new list of string dot from and give the places json object so let's return the places list now and assign it to the places key in the constructor so copy that and pass it along all right now let's try to run this i'm going to restart the app all right we have the same output now now instead of just a string of list i'm going to add a list of objects so that will be called images which will take id and a name copy that create another one id will be 11 and image image 2 all right let's go to the model and create another class for simplicity i'll i'll keep all the classes in one file so the images class will have an id and a name member variable let's write the constructor as we did for person and the factory method that will return the images object from the json object so that will also be a map and dynamic and return images object a new images object and let's pass the id and get the id from the object and name also from the object all right now let's add the variable to the person so that will be a list of images and add that to the constructor as well and here as well images so how do we write that let's write images dot from json images so that's going to show an error because it is expecting a list of images not a single image object right so we need to write another method to return a list of images so that will be static list of images and uh, it will be called parse images and that will take the images json object so i'm going to declare a variable list equal to images json and get the images as a list now declare another variable which is a list of images and call list.map on each object in the list and create image object and convert that to a list now return the list so that will be a list of images and replace that with our function and pass the json because we are getting the images from inside the parse images all right now we will try to print the value images and person dot images so you can see that there are two instances of images so what if we give a zero so that will be one instance the first instance of image let's print the name so we have the name now image one now let's add some more data to the json file i'm going to add a object address which will take the straight number which is a string and another object inside that let's call it details and that will have house number that is an integer and add another let's say town i'm going to give it as test town all right let's go back to the model and we have an inner object here right the details so let's create a model for that first so that will be will be class details and integer house number and the string town so we are going to do the same that we did in other classes write a constructor 
and write the from json method that will return a details object from the json we provide here also it will be a string and dynamic so let's write the constructor and get the house number we know that it's a, it's an integer so we can write like this ascent and town uh, town okay now now let's write the address now so class address so that will take a street number which is a string and second one will be the details class details object and address we are going to do the same so address also will have this from json method that will return the address object so that will also be string and dynamic so return address with street number get the street number from json street underscore number a string and the details details start from json and pass the json from the details key so create a member variable in the person class address and pass it along with the constructor and in the from json as well so that will be address dot from json and pass the json object with the key address all right now let's try to print the values so that will be person dot address let's restart the app you can see the instance of address now details you should see the instance of details there now town so it should give test town you can see that all right now let's do some live json parsing so this is the url that i am going to use i can provide this in the description you can see here you have the album id id title url and the thumbnail url so we are going to parse this we'll be calling a service and get the data and parse these values let's write the model class for each record in the service so that will be called album which will take the album id id title url and the thumbnail url so like other classes this will also have the constructor that will take those parameters and the from json method that will have a map with the dynamic and it will return the album object so album id and id are strings and the title url and thumbnail urls are strings now i'm going to create a new file services dot dot that will have uh, the service call so let's import the needed packages so we will need the convert package the http package and the model class so you need to import the http package i have already added it i can provide this link in the description so let's go back and write the class so class services so i'm going to declare a variable url let's copy the url from the browser okay now a static method that will return a future of list of albums let's call it get photos which is an asynchronous method and we will wrap it inside a try catch for some if you want to catch some errors 
okay now let's say final response equal to await and http dot get with the url so once we have the response we can check the status code for simplicity and just checking for 200 so and then we will write a method that will return the list of albums i'm going to call it parse photos and which will take the response body as the parameter else we will show uh, we'll throw an error okay so let's write the function static parse photos so that will return the list of albums and the parameter will be the response body okay so final parsed equal to json dot decode the response body and cast it to the string and dynamic so we will get the list of json objects and we will create a list of album objects by parsing each json object so that will be parse.map with each json object to the album dot from json method that will, that will return each album object and convert that to a list all right so that is done now let's try printing it so i'm just giving loading photos since it is a service call and let's import the service all right now call service dot get photos with the then callback so then callback will have the list of albums and print let's print the length of the albums that we received so that will be albums dot length okay now run the app You can see 5000 records so this list has 5000 records now we will try to print the detail so print album let's print the zeroth record so that will be albums of zero dot title so let's see that so we got the title so it's the same title so let's try to print another one the fourth one okay zero one two three so the fourth one so we got the title okay so um, so let's make those finals since we are only assigning values so that's recommended okay so this was a quick example of parsing json in flutter hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to subscribe like and share the video and hit the bell icon for notifications thanks for watching